Good afternoon, members of the press. I have a formal statement which I will read and we will respond to your questions. Let me begin by stating that throughout my career, I've always conducted myself with honor and integrity. I responded to all questions that were asked of me by the impeachment committee in the time allotted. At no time did I ever make any inconsistent statement. As I was said previously in my testimony before the Illinois House Impeachment Committee, as I stated in my voluntary affidavit to the head of the same committee, and as I said uh, to you again now, yes, I had contact with representatives and friends of the former governor about the Senate seat. None of it inappropriate. When asked by Representative Durkin during the committee hearing about contact with representatives of the governor, I responded, yes, I did have contact and mentioned an encounter with Lon Monk. Senator, Dur then Senator Durkin then took the line of questioning in a different direction. To be clear, I had contact with six individuals in total. Lon Monk, who was not a member of the governor's staff, Doug Schofield, John Weimer, Ed Smith, a labor leader, John Harris, and Rob Lagojevich, along with many other friends. And as I said on the record, I was telling nearly everyone I knew I was interested in the Senate seat. Rob Lagorovich reached out to me in three separate phone calls to ask for assistance raising money for his brother, then Governor Blagojevich. A fact that I fully disclosed in my affidavit to the impeachment committee. I made it very clear to him that I would not contribute, that it would be inappropriate and a major conflict because I had expressed an interest in the Senate seat. Once more, I've always conducted myself with honor and integrity. We have provided information to the impeachment committee as well as Senate, Senators Reed and Durbin, and I did not donate one single dollar, nor did I raise any money or promise any favors of any kind for the governor. Anyone who suggests otherwise or would insinuate that my testimony in person or in writing is anything other than fully compliant with the committee and consistent with the truth is simply playing at partisan politics. I will answer your questions. Senator, this February 5th affidavit that was given to Barbara Flynn and Curry on there, did you go ahead and make it, to make it clear that you did in fact speak to Rob Blagojevich as well as some of the other members of his inner circle because you were afraid that the former governor may mention he publicly is doing that or you caught an FBI tapes and speaking to Rob Blagojevich? Senator. Yeah, let, uh, let me, this, I, this I, is I what you're right. And I was with him at the session. The reason that that was Could done. Can get an answer from the senator on that? All right. Yeah. I'll I'll let, let the senator answer. Like, senator, can you ask that question? What, what, Are you what, fearful that you're going to be caught on tape here having a conversation with Rob Bogoyevich, who was raising money, about talking about raising money or about the Senate seat? Absolutely not. Because the situation was this Rob called me in October, and as we said in the affidavit, that we would. Seek, you know, the, I, I advised him that I couldn't raise any money now because I was raising money for other candidates. And they called me back after the election. And now in terms of your question about whether or not I was a, a, a Do you think that you're caught in any type of FBI tapes regarding Rob Lagojevich and yourself having conversations about the Senate seat or raising money? No, because, because I said on that, in that conversation, that I couldn't raise any money. So, I mean, so, so that, so that, you know, why, that. Why did you mention Lon Monk's name, though, during the House impeachment committee hearings and not Rob Lagojevich no, no, and other and Harris and Just Scorpio. slow down, slow down, slow down. Because if you check, have you read the record? I have. 
didn't, didn't Durkin mention Lon Monk? He raised, the representative raised Lon Monk. That's what took us off to a different direction. He also mentioned Rob Lagoyevich. And John Harris. And John Wyman. And then, and, and, we, and, and that's when I said yes. I said yes. There's a yes answer in that. That means I talked to all of those. No, the, you said you spoke to friends of mine. One question at a time, please. Hold, hold it, hold it, please. Here you go, sir. Read, read. Let me ask you these names. Read, read it, Tim. Read it. Let, let the lawyer read it. What's in the strange? Who is this? The lawyer has Monster. a statement. Go ahead. Excuse me. And let me let me just first say that the reason that we responded in a supplemental affidavit was because these were the questions that Representative Durkin asked. We didn't get an opportunity to respond, so we responded in a supplemental document. What do you mean you didn't have an opportunity to respond? You were asked the question. There was excuse even a pause between the first and the answer. Excuse me. I was there. I don't know where you were, but I let me let me go ahead. Sir, may I finish question. answering your question? Sure. Yes. All right. You asked, did what? What was his response? When uh, uh, Senator, and when Representative Durkin asked the questions, Mr. Burris's response was, I've talked to some friends of my, about my desire to be appointed. Yes. Friends of why, mine. Why, yeah, why didn't he mention Rob Lagoyevich or John Harris? It was his intention to do so. As the senator said, uh, Representative Durkin asked a different question, took him in a different direction. It was only after we went back and reread the transcript that we fully respond to everything to make sure that there was nothing left out. Regardless of the direction of the conversation, I mean, the implications there, the whole central issue of those hearings was this pay-to-play stuff. Shouldn't this, these new facts have been the first thing out of your mouth that, during the test? That's what you all are looking at as professionals. Permit me to say to you that on the, as a witness on the stand, I was answering questions that were asked of me. And when the, the questions went into a different direction, wouldn't you ask the question of Durkin, why did he come back to those if he was interested in them? Because I, I didn't even, you know, didn't even respond to them because I was answering other questions. He asked uh, the second, sir, he said he had a follow-up question saying, did you speak to anyone of the governor's staff or any of those individuals closely related to the governor? You said, I recall having a meeting with Lon Monk about continued business in July of 08. Why didn't you say Rob Blagojevich or John Harris or Schofield? Oops, I'm sorry, because he had, he had raised a question about Lon Monk. And so that's really why we took off on Lon Monk. And, and, what, did the, and what, what direction did we go in after, after that testimony? You, you got the record. Senator, it, with all due respect, the question involves several people. It involved, I believe, five people, four of which you met. You only discussed Lon Monk. It was the same question. Those names all came in one question. But the, the whole, and, it, and had he come back and said, now, did you talk to... Uh, Rob, Rob Bogovich? That was part of the no, 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 regarding uh, this appointment. I have not had any conversation. Have any of your aides have any have had any conversation? Aides or attorneys have discussions with the federal prosecutors or for, for what I understand is some of the agents have reached out to my lawyers. Yeah, they talk, they talk to them a lot. No, no, I mean, they have not talked. No, we haven't talked. They, they said they want to meet with me. Senator, what, what motivated you to file that affidavit on February 5th? What motivated you to come now? Because when we read in, uh, on January 22nd, the attorney got the transcript. He read the transcript after the inauguration, and then he said, okay, uh, there are some, and he had promised the chairman of the committee that we might have to review this and fill in some information. I can answer, I can answer that question, because I'm the one who did it. All right, what happened was that I asked for the official transcripts to